Hello Saints and future Saints. Welcome to another study. Today's study will be on trumpets. And uh, there's much confusion in today's church over exactly what these trumpets are and what they mean for the body of Christ. Now, we already know that 100% of confusion comes from not rightly dividing God's word. So in order for us to get to the bottom of this, we'll be rightly dividing God's word, thus the truth shall be revealed. Now there's two passages that teach the church will be removed at the sound of a trump. One passage calls it the trump of God and the other passage calls it the last trump. The two passages are as follows. Now here Paul is writing to the Thessalonians in 1st Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 through 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from, from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Now the second passage Paul mes me mentions, the last trump, he's writing to the Corinthians. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 through 53, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immorality. So the first one speaks of the trump of God. The second mentions the phrase, the last trump. Now, rightly dividing God's word leads us to the truth. We know that everything Paul writes is about the body of Christ. Everything else in the other books outside of Paul's writings are about the nation of Israel, the earthly program, or the kingdom of heaven on earth. Now, keeping this in mind, it helps us understand what's going on here with these trumpets or the sounds of trumpets. It's clear with Paul speaking that the last trump, the trump of God, is talking about the body of Christ, believers, those who are saved right now today though not those in daniel's week okay we know this because remember we're rightly dividing okay more specifically it's about the removal of believers the church being caught up from the from earth into the rapture now let's look back at thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 through 18 but I would not have you ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others have which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Also, looking back again at 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 53 behold I show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible 
and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immorality. So when this corruptible, and so on, okay? Now, the last trump, the trump of God, will sound. The bodies of dead, of, of dead saints will be raised, just like Jesus, Lazarus, and the Old Testament saints who were dead, buried, and raised from the grave. Now, living believers will be changed, like uh, Enoch and Elijah, and the entire church will be caught up or raptured into heaven at the same time. Now, the passage that causes most confusion due to not rightly dividing is in Revelation chapter 11, verses 15 through 19. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants and prophets and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings, and an earthquake and great hail. This seventh trumpet here is about unbelievers. More specifically, it's about those who are not saved, those part of the Antichrist system, those who reject Jesus Christ. The seventh trumpet is all about judgment. The angel blows the seventh trumpet and it causes hatred, lightning, thunder, earthquakes, huge hailstones, and it leads to the seven last plagues hell on earth my friends in contrast the last trump the trump of god is an act of grace it calls the church saints believers those who love jesus christ immediately into heaven to spare us of god's wrath raining down upon those who hate him on planet earth now again the trumpet the angel sounds is during the great tribulation time frame it's a direct warning and signals divine judgment upon those on the earth. We see two different trumps being sounded by two different beings. The trump of God being the voice of God. Look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall, for, shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first notice that what Paul says here the voice of an archangel and the trump not trumpet the trump of God the roaring voice of God will sound to initiate the rapture the seventh trumpet on the other hand is a trumpet a trumpet blown by an angel in Revelation chapter 11 verse 15 and the seventh angel sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his of his Christ and he shall reign forever and ever concerning the events that happened during the time of the last trump the trump of God the voice of God Paul writes to the church to comfort each other with these words we see that in first Thessalonians chapter 4 wherefore comfort one another with these words in contrast the seventh angel sounding the trumpet means that the nations are about to get pounded and the world gets very angry at God in Revelations 11 chapter 18 or Revelations chapter 11 verse 18 and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants and thy prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name small and great and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth the world will be angry because the first trumpet will be followed by 
the destruction of one third of all plants, which I assume includes vegetables and fruit and herbs and so on. The second trumpet will destroy a third of the sea creatures, again, food, fish, seafood, and also a third of all the ships. So they won't be, be able to transport food or merchandise or oil and all these cargo ships are gone. The third trumpet will destroy a third of all fresh water. Now without fresh water, people are going to die, more animals are going to die, vegetation will stop growing, farmers will have uh, fields of dust instead of fields of grain. The fourth trumpet will cause horrible changes in the sun, the moon and the stars. The sun will burn seven times hotter, scorching the earth, temperatures seen like never before. And can you imagine having no water as well during that time? It's going to be horrible, a horrible time folks. The fifth trumpet will release horrific locust-like creatures who will torment mankind. These creatures will have stingers that hurt mankind and it doesn't kill them. These things are designed specifically for torture and nothing else. The sixth trumpet will cause the death of over one third of all people on the earth. After all the previous trumpets, it's easy to see why so many people would be dead at this point. But guess what? That was only the beginning. The worst is yet to come. And the seventh trumpet will bring seven vials of judgment. Can you see why people are so angry at God during this time? All these judgment angels blowing their horrible trumpets is completely removed from the comforting message of the last trump. The trump of God at our rapture, we're to be comforted during this time. If you've been paying attention, you've seen a clear difference, a direct contrast between the trump of God and the seventh angel's trumpet. They're completely opposite in nature. Two different events for two different times for two different sets of people believers and non-believers something important to notice at the trump of god jesus won't be in heaven he'll descend with a shout to the clouds to gather the saints unto himself in first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 and 17 for god for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trump of god and the dead in christ shall rise first then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. When the seventh angel sounds his trumpet, there's no mention of Jesus leaving his throne in heaven. Jesus commands the angels, and the angels are the ones who hand out judgment upon the earth. In Revelation chapter 4, verse 10, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne. You see, he's still on the throne. And worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne. Another point to consider. The voice of God is not the sound of a trumpet being blown by an angel. It's a voice that sounds like a trumpet. In Revelation 1, uh, chapter 1, verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet okay there's a difference between the sound of the trumpet and a voice that sounds like a trumpet so this takes us back to the question what does at the last trump really mean with everything the verses the examples given thus far we understand that at the last trump is completely different and unrelated to the trumpet judgments in revelations we in Revelation, we know from earlier studies that Apostle Paul was given the mystery, the heavenly program. He was given it by Jesus Christ himself over a period of about 30 years. And none of the apostles or prophets prior to Paul wrote about the things Paul mentions in his books. This is even more proof that the rapture's events were unknown to everyone until Jesus gave these revelations to Paul. The coming of Christ the rapture mentioned in 1 Corinthians was special, one kept secret, part of the mystery program that God hid in himself from the very foundation of creation. The prophets wrote all about the second coming. John's revelation was also all about the second coming. And the trumpets, the angels, all about the second coming. These were no secrets kept in God from creation. These were all prophecies that the Jews were well aware of. So. 
the trump of God being part of the mystery rapture given to Paul was also a secret, a separate event outside of what the prophets had foretold. Even more evidence that these two events are separate at two different times for two different sets of people, one for the body of Christ and the other for the nation of Israel. Now, when, when people confuse the term at the last trump with the, with the so-called seventh trumpet, judgments of the, you know, the seven-year tribulation, Daniel's 70th week, there's bound to be confusion and heartache. And this confusion and contention can all be avoided by rightly dividing God's word, by studying the Bible, by keeping things in context. It's really that simple. But, you know, right division, context, and understanding God's different dispensations are all things people choose to ignore because these things are directly opposed to keeping people under bondage, the law, and the wrong program. Ignorance is bliss to false teachers. It allows them to control people, keeping them in fear and in confusion. To cause the church of the body of Christ to endure the seven-year tribulation, Daniel's, uh, seven, seven, sorry, Daniel's 70th week, is to completely ignore the dispensational nature of the Bible. It's to completely confuse the purpose of the seven-year tribulation with what God is currently operating today in our dispensation of grace. It's to confuse the nation of Israel with the church body of Christ. Folks, there's much more to be said concerning this teaching, much to study, and perhaps we'll dive into that a little deeper with another video in the future. But my hope for now is that this short study has answered some of your questions, and most of all, it will give you peace. Peace knowing that our precious Lord Jesus is about to catch us away prior to pouring out his wrath. So be comforted, as Paul once said. Peace and grace in Christ Jesus be with you all. I'll see you in the next video.